She called us an intruder, a slob. Okay, so what we did learn as well is there are two layers of puzzles. There are two layers of puzzles of this. So you can go here, and then when we're finding stuff, we are finding puzzles. As you can see here. So we're finding these answers. So let's go ahead and put in some of these answers, shall we? Let's put in some of these answers. Let's see what happens. Oh, so this is, so it's wrapping around, it's wrapping around the pieces. More fun games better be marbling later tonight. You better believe that there's marbling later tonight. There we go, like this. So we did, we did it. Archive adds a removable storage. This cannot be accessed from all terminals with that. Oh my God. There's like, what the hell is all this? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what what on earth is going on on the ship. We don't really, we don't really know. Um, the captain and TFC have really been on my back about the probe failure. I passed my report on them. They're forming their own independent investigation. I'm going to try and put it out of my mind for the time being. Focus on what we're doing here. Work begins on a new probe tomorrow. I met briefly with Aubergine, Aubergine and Pistachio today to discuss potential causes of these radiation spikes. Neither of them are experts in this field, but they contributed several hypotheses we're thinking about. Today we discovered something. Something unexpected. Arnold 475M is a hologram. Or at least it possesses the unique characteristics of a hologram. Marmalade observed the planet artifacting, as he puts it. Since then, I've seen it, too. It would certainly explain what happened to the probe. Well, not entirely, but we now understand why the probe fell through what should have been Arnold's surface. So Arnold is a planet, it looks like. Okay, interesting. Subsequently, it must have then crashed on a structure beneath it. Contacted the captain. I imagine she will ask us to vacate the system, possibly even return to the firmament. We're a talented crew, but none of us are remotely qualified to handle a situation like this. Besides, it makes our mission redundant. Okay, so there are holographic planets up in here, team. New probe briefing. Evening on. Could I please see you all at 8.30 tomorrow for a briefing on how the captain wants us to move forward with the new probe? As you only have a three-day week, I expect to be on time and in good spirits. Canary. Can I be late if I bring coffee again? No. You can be on time and bring coffee again. Morning, all. It feels necessary to inform you all of a development of my planetary analysis that could potentially impact your jobs and well-being. Over the last few days, there has been a sharp and significant increase in the amount of radiation being emitted by Arnold 475M, the holographic planet, you will remember. The cause of this is currently a mystery, as are the specifics of any potential repercussions. By the time of writing this, the readings have leveled out, but remain at a new higher constant than before. While I wouldn't worry about it for the time being, there's a chance that this increase in ambient radiation could cause problems for certain systems on board the Alabaster, as well as pose a potential health risk for crew members. Rest assured I will be monitoring this situation closely. Canary. Not exactly my area of expertise, but is it possible that something else in the system or even further out could be responsible? Seems strange to me that a planet could spike in radiation like that. Could it be something geological? Do plants normally give off radiation? It's definitely Arnold 475M. I've ruled out interference from other sources. It could be something geological, I suppose, though I couldn't say what. We can expect a planet with an atmosphere this close to a star to give off a moderate level of long wave radiation. <laughs> What's up, Eddie? It is it, it is giving that a uh, Ooh, it changes color with the with the things. Yo, look at how cool that is. Yeah, with the with the computer, with the uh, the terminal. As the Alabaster's well-being officer, I greatly appreciate some more insight into exactly just how dangerous this extra radiation we're dealing with is. A million. Morning. It's hard to say as it stands. The risk is currently low, but it's worth keeping an eye on. I would recommend performing additional thorough health checks on a regular basis. I was thinking the same. Thank you. Hopefully nothing comes of this. There's been unusual development with regards to the radiation output of Arnold 475M. It seems that over the last few days, there's been a sharp increase in the radiation levels being recorded. This is most unfortunate, as it certainly calls into question the potential hap 
habitability of Arnold 475M. I've attached a report containing my data as well as a comprehensive analysis. Regards, Canary. Canary, thank you for letting me know I will look through this report today. I'm confident that you'll keep an eye on this going forward. Swan. Hello, Canary. Pistachio told me that you were planning on working through lunch, and I simply won't have it. If you'd care to join me, I've brewed a pot of chamomile tea and made us some sandwiches. I'm in the library nook for extra comfort. Vermilion, I'm busy, but that does sound enticing. What kind of sandwiches are they? Ham and mustard with spinach and dried tomatoes on sourdough, no less. They're pretty great. Very well. Morning all, I haven't slept. At all. I spent all night reviewing the Alabaster's external camera footage with Aubergine. None of you are going to like what we found. Late yesterday evening, I was in the living room sketching Arnold. I was staring directly at the planet when it flashed at me, as though a wave of light had just passed through the whole thing. It was weird and colorful, and it, dis it displaced parts of it. I thought I was losing my mind. I almost went straight to Vermilion in case I was having a stroke or something. I couldn't move, though, because it just... It felt so familiar. Then it hit me. My fireplace. My damn fireplace has been doing the exact same thing. The same ripple, the same color, and light. I got Aubergine to pull up the tapes from the exterior cameras, and there it was, clear as day. It's happened more than once. It's happened a lot. Arnold 475M isn't a planet. It's a colossal hologram. I would have preferred you came to me privately about this first marmalade. I'd like to call an emergency meeting. Living room, 10 minutes. Captain, following last night, we've made a significant and troubling discovery, discovering, discovery regarding Arnold 475M. I didn't believe it at first, but I've reviewed the evidence extensively and I'm forced to admit it's true it appears Arnold 475M is in fact an immense planet-sized hologram what exactly it's hiding who built it and its purpose are beyond us not to mention how it's even possible to power something on this scale I'm trying to ask for direction although I'm certain you'll agree we should vacate the system immediately it's clear that if a device on the scale were to become hostile we would likely stand no chance the alabaster is awaiting your confirmation to depart Canary, this is certainly fascinating. No, you'll stay put for the time being. Billcorp deployed your vessel to research Arnold 475M, and you should continue to do so despite this revelation. You've remained on location for nearly two months now, and there's been no indication of any kind of threat posed by the planet. I would like to schedule a meeting at 0900 tomorrow for a new briefing. For now, please continue your work and see if you can learn more about this structure. Swan. Uh, I won't go. We're, we'll get into some puzzles after after I finish uh, going through these logs. Captain, please, with all due respect, we were dispatched to assess Arnold 475M for potential habitability, not to observe a possibly dangerous megastructure of unknown origin. I'd ask that you rethink your decision and allow us to withdraw from the system. Canary, you will remain in orbit around Arnold 475M. You will realign your objective to the observation and study of the structure. These are my orders, and this will be my final say on the matter. Do not be late for the briefings. Yes, Captain. In the last transmission from the logs. Warning, there are a lot of logs. Correct. So we will, uh... Maybe we'll have a log reading stream. Afternoon all, I've spoken with Swan. I have some bad news. We will not be leaving the system. Instead, we will remain in orbit around Arnold 475M and change our mission statement to one of observation and study. TFC wants us to learn more about the structure. We'll have a briefing tomorrow at 9 o'clock sharp with Swan. Please do not be late. Are you joking? We can't stay here next to that thing. I have to agree with Juniper. This isn't right. Swan made herself very clear where to stay where we are. This is bullshit. What do any of us know about this kind of thing? If they want surveyed so badly, they can send another crew who are qualified to do so. I empathize with your frustration, but this is how it is. I suggest you air your grievances with Swan tomorrow. All right, team. Removable storage. Oh, my. Do you guys see the bar over there? Look how look how slow it's moving. Yo, Eddie. Sorry, I missed some messages. 
Catching fire, good morning. Good morning. Holographic Death Star sounds like it. You're <laughs> Metaware High School Demo? Is it uh, another puzzle game? All right, let's puzzle. You guys ready? Ooh, what's this? You guys see this thing? Hey, this is where I took my first few steps aboard the Alabaster. My first time aboard a Philcor ship, actually. I boarded with Pistachio. We exchanged some small talk while we lugged our stuff up on the gangway together. We're both from the firmament, though we didn't know each other from before the mission. It was only after we arrived here and had a proper chance to talk that we realized we'd actually grown up not far from one another. Different schools, though. So this is the voice, or the person, just so you guys know. All right. Uh-oh. It's watching us. Oh. All right. Line them up towards the door. Have you guys seen that? Is that is that the idea here? So what we do is we do this, right? And we just stand here and wait, and they'll run into the thing. Is that right? Yo, the demo didn't even come close to like to like showing all the different nuttiness that's gonna happen in this game. My God. No, 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 Where are you going? What are you guys doing? Are you kidding me right now? Get back over there. Uh-oh. Nope, oh, kidding. Shit. <laughs> Um, uh oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, team. Group up. These arrows seem promising. I think this is what it is. We have we have arrows over here, right? Let's try this. We're gonna try these arrows instead. What's the point of the game here? So typically the puzzles have things you have to light up. So it's a, they're pathing puzzles where you're trying to get this tether you're attached to to provide power to these specific, or at least the illusion of power. Oh. What the hell? Team! There's three dots on there. We have, I have no, okay. We need to, we need to do some figuring out. How fun is this? Why would these be here? Do I need to watch for the three spaces? Do I need to watch for the three spaces to see where they light up on the door? We're gonna let them all move at the same rate here. Is it just about finding the right one?
But those ones are all lined up. Did I just not line them up properly? No, I lined them up properly. I don't, I don't know if it's just, if it, it, it would, okay, so is our assessment a guessing game? Let's just try another one. Okay, you go that way. You go that way. We're gonna try, we're gonna try this one up top here. wait to catch this other one and then we'll we'll focus out we'll see okay so let's see let's see what happens if i do this ha now you're not going anywhere <laughs> yeah Okay, well, I have no idea. Um, I would think these symbols are important, right? It's got to be you go over there. So we have to get power to the door. So we have to get power over here to the door. Oh, I could probably just rewind. These symbols wouldn't be here for no reason, right? Right? think they would be here for no reason I mean I can't I, I can't think that shapes in the area before he came into this puzzle room nope there are three I don't know, team. Outer post, yes. Outer post lines up the outer line. Do you think we have to actually get them all to be li Oh. Wait, do you think we have to line up the four not in a line, but actually space them out? But then what's, what's our tell showing us that we need to do that? Like, where... You know what I mean? Like, where's, where's the thing that would require us to, to actually know that we need to do that I wouldn't think it would be arbitrary that's a good so mm. so let's say we're supposed to space them out are we supposed to line them up like that and then let them go See, then we could do stuff like this to create. We just, I, I don't, I don't feel like. 
I'm trying, I'm trying to, like... Do we have any inkling of, like, a hint as to what we need to do here to solve this? Or perhaps we need to come back with more information. Jeremiah, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. How long is the tether? Infinite. At least, at, well, at this point. We haven't, we have not made a tether that had a limit, at least so far. Uh, filament goes. We read a log, and now we're on the first puzzle that we're trying for the day. And, you know, here we are. It's got to be the lights over on the door, right? This is my guess is the lights on the door will light up. Do the other doors have those lights? The other doors have those lights, don't they? Maybe these over here light up? Maybe these over here light up. I'm watching these symbols while they go around to see if they light up. Um, at any point or move maybe they move maybe they shift that's how I can lock it in position it really feels like I need more information that's that's how that's how I'm looking at this I think this is a bigger picture puzzle like what uh, uh Smongo said I think there's like we'll, we'll read something or there's some kind of a code or something to to get out of this so i don't think we can solve this thing um i'm gonna assume as well because this is to the escape pods right to the escape pods right so um come back with more info couldn't change the lit line up out of it that yeah it would take a while though doing it systematically true dev here hello dev your game is awesome and nuts and difficult and juicy. It's great. Need a little more info. Thank you for saving us some time. <laughs> Appreciate it. Much love. Um, lit up a full line that goes out to a wall. Yes, correct, Fuzzy. So, because it's the escape pod, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll need to come back to this one. Um, let us continue down our line. Oh, oh, the break room. There's still an eye up there watching us, too. What's this? Can we interact with this? Not yet. Onward! Oh! Oh! Welcome aboard the Alabaster. What does that say? Welcome aboard the Alabaster from Filament Corporation. There's the... Uh, potentially holographic the big old holographic uh, planet that we're orbiting around okay what's up I don't even where am I going I'm just going oh I found puzzles team team we found puzzles let us puzzle. Is everybody ready to puzzle? Let's puzzle. That looks like a like a witness puzzle. Hey, it's picture of Swan. All right, good luck. Have fun. Admit, oh. 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 Okay. Um, for the bagels? You're a bagel. <laughs> What's up? Good to see you, Birch. Florian, bonjour. <laughs> oh. So getting... Okay, so that's showing that they're connected? Look, it's a pencil. Okay. Okay. We're learning. We're learning. So the arrows between three means we have to connect them three times.
two, three. We're learning, we're increasing the brain. The brain is increasing. Okay. Two here, one here. I love it, it's like blueprints. So they have like the sketched out blueprints for how many times you actually have to hit each, each uh, one. Okay, so twice around top left, once connected between these two, and then this one here just as a normal, a normal dude. So we do have a little, we have a neutral, we have a neutral hookup. So we actually, we're gonna be looping. So because this is saying we have two, we're gonna be coming back to that one last in theory. Which means I think we need to go, no. We actually will not be going to it last because look, this tether's on this side of the wall. So even if I go, if I go over here, I'm locked. We have to go around this one twice. So to go around this one twice, requires that we do something like this. Like we have to go like this. Oh. New, new thing about this team. You can't, so this isn't, this isn't a condition to be met and exceeded. It is a condition to be met exactly. Now, now we have a puzzle. All right, okay. touch those ones once what because see here's what i'm thinking so we go like this like this right and then we'd like loop back like this oh i did it <laughs> oh no i failed never mind i failed miserably okay hold on hold on calm down That's the issue is I can't I don't want to wrap that one one time first. We're just because we're gonna we're gonna wrap it twice just on our way back like this. Never mind team. Oh nope, that's it. See, that's gonna that's gonna shut it down. Wait. That's a bug. Okay, I was like, wait, 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 that's, I don't think, I don't think I should be able to walk through this door. <laughs> uh, we're here to help. We're here to help Nagoni. Let us help you help us. You know what I mean? Uh, how did you, I, cause you can't, we got a freebie, don't tell. Yeah, everybody, keep it on the down low. Keep it on the down low. All right. So only once on our bottom left and our top left. Two up on top center. Oh, man. The sun is shining directly into my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, wow, look at me. I think we should be fixing the patch today. Cool, that's awesome. Um, yeah, you guys can see the look out look how awesome I look. Look how dramatic with the blind, the sun's like coming in on the blinds. Going crazy. Um team, we have a pretty tough challenge here because of that two up there. You guys see that two up there? That two is miserable. So it makes me feel like we have to go like we gotta go up here first. And then do this. But then this is gonna touch here, isn't it?
We have a two up center as well. But then I have to come back around. So that does it, but I'm <laughs> we gotta come back around. You know? That's that's our issue here. Alright, so let's plan in a, let's plan for our escape route, okay? So we need to be able to we need to be able to leave. Also, we need to be able to have the camera be a little bit smaller because come on, Bex. There's puzzles. You don't need to be. You don't need to be the center of attention. Jeez, you jerk. Okay, so we have the two. So we have uh, top right, mid right. I think we aren't gonna touch the top ones there, right? Like all the way out on the on the right. The mug. When you say mug, you aren't talking about my face. You're talking about my actual mug of coffee. Because if we have to go all the way out here, like this is, that just doesn't seem possible. I could be wrong, of course, <laughs> but I've never been wrong in my life. This is so cool. So it's like we're controlling a miniature rubber band. It's just, it's cool. The environment is, is really cool. There's a sticky note there. So my thought here, No, because we need to come back over this one. That's our exit. We can't touch that one. Good. Good, good, good. But then we're going to blow... Then that's going to be dark. Then it's going to be darked out. That's a thing I said. How do I get back around that, though? So we just go straight through to this, like this. And then we do, I can't touch this one though, but I will, that's a problem. And I have to get back up to this one. I have to get back up to our, to our two guy here. So this means we're looking, we're looking to like, just, you know, Oh, no, 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 no. We don't actually need to loop that once. We could actually loop. Loop and then done. There we go. Got it. Okay, so we're good there. Now we have this other two. So let's figure out how to get this two. more star realms please scott panda it's great to see you bad news is that star realms isn't really in the streaming uh the streaming schedule right now at all like just being dolly forward um but it's great to see you and i appreciate you showing interest uh, i am running star realms tournaments and there's still star realms discussion that happens in the discord if you want to join the discord and hang out uh this game guten tag guten tag v gates okay so we have three at the beginning between both we also have a little hook here. Little, we have a little, we have a little block. So if we four between those four and only one on our bottom left, that's gonna be. I feel like that's gonna be the the lamo. The one on the bottom left there is gonna be the lamo. This one, this three right here is kind of annoying.
But if I light that up with two, I can't come back around. Ah. Ah. So for for what I'm what I'm seeing here is that we need to loop this. So this needs to loop around. True, true. Yeah. Well, see, what I'm seeing here is we can do something like this. Boom, boom, boom. That already hits three. That gives us two. That gives us the four. We didn't grab this one yet, though. So we could grab this one on the way out. This one needs two, and that's our one for our exit. Did I just solve it? Did I just solve it? Wait. Did I... Did I... Loki, did I, did we, are we solvers? Am I a solver? Did, we, did I solve it? I didn't solve it because we can't get back to that one, right? I didn't solve it. I got close. Okay, team. I, I kind of, I solved except for the missing things. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so we have the one top left. That's it. Right? Wait, how do I only have... They're different! I have to wrap around it twice! Oh my god, I thought the wall, I thought they were connected. I backed, I backed my observation of that. Oh my god, I backed it up hard. Okay, so reset the whole paradigm. This is, we're, we're way back. We're back to the Stone Age on this one. The wall is, those are separate. You guys remember when there was an arrow pointing to a column, and if it was pointing to it, it gave you the amount of times it would have to touch? And then you couldn't just randomly select two of them and make them the same thing. Do you remember that? You remember that part of the puzzle rules? We have to wrap around that wall twice. Once in one direction and once in the other direction. My God. So that's our three. That's our loop for three. This is our loop for one. This is gonna be how we hit the first two. We're gonna wrap here, wrap here, wrap here. We're gonna wrap here. We're gonna go back around like this. Is that one not touching? I thought I did it. So that's one. That's one. Two, boom. Three. Touch here. I need to touch one more time on that, don't I? Okay, so we just need to loop. We just need to do a little, a little mini loop here. So we just need to do this. Okay. Hold on this. Here we go. Guys, listen. You know, I just sometimes the power of increasing your brain. Okay, we did it. Good job. Good job, team. Good job, team. So, Pluto, despite having been here all but a single orbit, you're already making far more sense of these anchors than I ever did. This kind of thing was never really my area of expertise. If it wasn't helping me pilot my ship, then I wanted nothing to do with it. Not the best attitude, I admit. To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure what these things do. They were meant to stop some spike on some graph that I'm told was important, with the minor side effect that literally all systems are no longer remotely accessible. <laughs> Useful, right? Very. The filament wrapping king. And we got a new, new, new. New, new. The newest new. Whoa, that looks intense. Okay. Oh. 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 Huh? Oh, really? Did you have to come in here? It's just such a mess. Sorry. 
messy room never really bothered me. I've heard it's a sign of intelligence, but honestly, if that were true, I probably wouldn't be stuck in this damn cockpit. So if only I were trapped in there. Still never finished Pocketbook Wrestlers 3. Crossed my mind a few times while I've been up here. God knows I've got time to finish it now. Last time I played I was stuck, but I reckon I now know how to get the paperclip mask from the stationary mountain to unlock the rubber band belt. Hey, maybe when we get out of here we can play something together. We'll have a lot of time to kill getting back to civilization. I have to warn you though, I'm rather competitive. Okay. So what's the call? She's she's gonna eat us alive? Is this is this is this recorded? Pre-recorded? Like what's our what's our what's our gig on this? You're probably powering the planet-sized holographic weapon. Oh my god, you're right. That's what it is. Better not spoil myself too much on this. Eddie, cheers. Cheers. Um bugged your way through. <laughs> oh, count you can count on me to find like the bu the bug just it's out like i just of course of course i do uh okay um uh, casino games just just hanging just just there like uh, i hear i hear i hear your theories i think i know they hear what you're saying so that's gonna make it so we can't leave and that's not really a goal um so this is first run, first run. Don't judge me for what I'm doing. Well, you can, but I don't think it would go well. I think that was pretty good. I think that was pretty good. Okay, so first, so the intuition run, the, the, the intuition run was pretty good. I'm just gonna leave myself the opportunity. So I'm gonna go around the outside. I'm gonna leave myself the opportunity to come back on that inside one. We're gonna leave the opportunity to do that as well. We're gonna loop back over here. Go like this. Like this, like this, like this. What? Which one of you slacker, slacker lines? Okay. There we go, so we have two. It's a team. Do you remember when five lines drawn in tally form meant that you had to do five? Do you, do you remember the time when looking at lines and counting them was a requirement for finishing puzzles? Do you guys remember that? You gotta be kidding. I'm sitting here just... Uh, if I see more than three lines, it's four. Okay, here we go, here we go. Five, five friggin' frigs. Okay, how about this? How about this, huh? Oh yeah, there's your three. There it is. But now what? That's not gonna touch there. Three here, can't touch that one again. This, this, this. Okay, good, we did it. <laughs> am I am I a bad person for trying to get another bug solve here? Am I, on a scale of one to bad person, am I a bad person for thinking that because it worked once, I might be able to jimmy the, jo the, the door open? I wouldn't have even allowed myself to walk through the door. I would allow, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Don't, I don't wanna, I don't want people getting their pitchforks. How the hell do we get five with the three? Are we doing something like this and then going all the way across? No, because that's that'd be ridiculous. You're helping. Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. We can't go straight up through that lock because that locks the whole thing up. So it's it's about it's about a system. It's about an order of operations here. Um, I really like this. Right? Like this is just this is great.
but I need to get three on one of these. So this would be three, but then this gets very, very challenging very quickly. And we can't, this has to be the last thing we do. It doesn't have to be the last thing we do because we can do this. And then we can come back through, but we already used this one over on the right side to come back and over. So unless we're looking to do like this. But then we, we should just go all the way around the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. Up and up and down, round the outside. So we do this and then we go like this. Then we do this. And then we're still back to square one where we're staring at a fifth tally we can't get. Man, that one slot is devious up there in the center middle. Okay, so... Because if we can get to two, we got it. If we can get to two, if we, get, if we can touch those twice, we are looking pretty good. There's got to be a better way to utilize our top panels. Maybe top left. Everyone here in the Barb's community today. See you tonight, hopefully. Hopefully, Kinnison, have a good time in community today. I will be at work. I wish I could be there. It's unfortunate for me. But my current work schedule, it'd be great if I could stream full time. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. uh, alas, here we are. Okay, so we can, so we can go down, down and bottom right. Back up to bagels. Okay, let's just back to the beginning. What a great game. Can we talk about how good this game is? I'm not even kidding. I haven't had this much fun playing puzzles since The Witness. And I know The Witness gets brought up all the goddamn time. But this this is this is cool. And we're, we haven't even scratched the surface of the game yet. You know? Well, we have scratched the surface because we're literally, you know, playing the game. So... Okay, here we go. Big plays. Big plays, Bax. Maximum effort. Now, why am I doing this? What good does this do? This seals off. We can't go back over, right? Four on the same side? What are the chances I can get four on the same side? Pretty good, right? Maybe? Kind of? Let's go four for the same side. So here's what we're going to do. Boom, one, boom, two, boom, three, boom, right back to where I started. Excellent. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Don't like grabbing that, but I like, I like getting us to three early. So from here, let's take a look from here. So from here, we need to get two mid left. That's it. Two mid left, given our current resources. Now, the problem is our exit we were exiting back up and towards center. So what we want to do is we want to get to that second one being a forward solve. So going around is, is how we were trying to do it before, right? What if we use, what if we use that top one to loop back over? Like the top left, very top left. Not left top, but top left. What if we use that one and looped it to come back down towards right side? It would mean that we wouldn't have, right? Like doing something like this. What, but it, that seals it. What if we try the other direction? We haven't tried the other direction. I know it doesn't sound. It, I don't think it would work because I think we we seal off our uh, our door. Wait, what about like this? I don't know. This doesn't seem like a good idea, but you know, I'm here. You guys are here. This seems like a really bad idea. This seems this seems like we are using a lot of tether for very little result. 
Um, and that's how I feel about that. <sighs> Skip the single line posts until you wrap back up. Are you now going going off the going off the beginning? You're saying like doing the same thing we were doing? Well, I can't skip it doing that. And that seals us off. So if we want to if we want to skip. So this is an immediate loss. As soon as we do this, we can't get to the door. So that's not a possible move. This is not a possible move. Once again, we seal ourselves off unless we do this. Unless we do this. Okay, so that's one. Two. And now we're stuck because we just sealed ourselves off. We can't, we can't do that. We can't do that because we seal ourselves off. We can't do that. What are we doing? You know? And this is a waste. So it is to the right. So it's definitely to the right side. I think I think you're great. Like I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it the right way. Yo! You get a sub and you get a sub and everyone gets a sub. DJ Tusk. Ah! Ah! Bye, my subscriber. What's up? You here to help us solve some puzzles? Yo, let me give you the rule rundown real quick, okay? How you doing today? Thank you for the five, my friend. Much appreciation to you. Okay. Blueprints. We're on blueprints. The numbers, the little tallies there in the center, that means how many times the pillars that they are pointing to need to be finagled. So the one up there, this is one. Done. Now it's done. I can't touch, like, oh, that's not one. That's two just one one and only one this is five we have to get both of these now it's between both of them okay it's between both of them as i showed you up here with the one and the thing otherwise that's it that's the new condition is just those tallies say how many times exactly no less no more that the that the pillars they're pointing to must be touched oh so that's that is our five not four correct I had to remind Brian that it was five and not four. Has this trouble counting to five? Get out of here. <laughs> Don't you do that to me. Do not do that to me. Okay, so what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to go outside. So this is good. Okay, we're feeling spicy. Everything's pretty cool. But then we run into an issue. Because we run into an issue because we're so freaking good at this game. We aren't good. We aren't good. Um, I actually just was thinking about what uh, what Grim Time, what Grim Time was saying earlier about how you know, but we did it. We did it. Oh my god. How's that? Get out. I was just using what Grim said earlier, where he's like, hey. Do the one, do the one thing last. And it was like, oh yeah, duh. Yo, Weber, Weber72, what up? How you doing? It's been a minute. Don't feel like I've seen you in a while. I hope you're well. Hope you're doing well. Feel free to hang out and chill. Join us on this wonderful, beautiful Friday, April 24th, April 24th, Jesus. Um, so this is rough. Look at this. A lot of ones, team. A lot of ones. Snoochie boochies. The snoochiest boochie boot the boot just boochin' around. Snoochin' and boochin'. What's up, Al? How you doing, man? Al, do you mean to give you a rundown on the uh on the rules for this guy? This is rough. If we do this, we can't do this. So I think this we may have to snag this. We either need to go this direction to grab all these, or 
Between work and Zoom meetings. Got it. Nope, that locks it off. Are we doing this? Nope, because then we can't get... There's no way to get back to this three here. So that is not the path. That is not the way. Rules, please! See those tallies? Those tallies indicate how many times exactly... No more, no, no less. That each pillar must be touched by the tether. Um, arrows that point to two different pillars means that those share connection. You'll see, so for example... You'll see that I am I am touching on the three. You see they're lighting up there. I've touched both those pillars once each, and so it is as a group two. So I only need one more to get up to that three. So that is the that is the new rule set we're operating with these puzzles. What is up, my dude? Von Gala, how are you? What's the latest with the voice in the ship and the plot of the story? DJ Tusk. So first of all, Tusk. I'll 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 briefly sum it up so we can try to knock this puzzle out. Um, there are logs on logs on logs. There is, there is backstory. There is backstory here, okay? I just want you to know. Um, we are orbiting a holographic planet. Against our will, we were required... I'm sorry, when I say we, I'm referring to the Alabaster as a ship because we are just some traveler who's like, you know, we're being called Pluto and we just like stumbled upon the thing. Um, at least at this point, we don't know. Maybe there's more. Uh, and that's it. So they were, they found out the planet they were observing was holographic. It was a giant holographic planet. Um, and that's it. And then I realized how many logs there were, and it was time to do some puzzles. So we might have just a log reading stream. I'm not even kidding. There's a ton, which I love. Really, really love. I like it. Um... So we will, and we will, the, the story is part of the interest of puzzle games. Think of The Witness. <laughs> Remember that game that I haven't mentioned at all? Um, I'm doing well. Thank you, Von Gala. I'll let chat for, speak for themselves. I'm doing well, and it's good to see you. Okay, so we have these tallies. The tallies are new. We can only touch the tally on the tally tally for how many tallies are on the tally when they're written down for tally, okay? Um, this one down here is really annoying. The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm realizing that one is just a miserable, a miserable misery. Okay, so this is how I think we open. This is my, this is, this is my opener. And it's awful. I already don't like it. <laughs> it's just not good. This doesn't let us go back over there, so that one becomes impossible. But where, how do we even open this? This feels like you have to open to the side to even give yourself space to think, let alone like solve the damn puzzle. Okay, so two through here. And then what? That's one here, 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 close. We need a loop, we need one loop. We need one loop before we, before we do all that, like this. Okay, wait, team. Wait, I can't get the, I can't get back to the other one though. We solved it, but we can't get this one again. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is good though. So just to be clear, this so that we we can Okay, so I'm only missing one thing on this path, right? And the one thing is that three down there towards center. So left side is figured out. We can get that four pretty easily by just doing the loop over to the one. But we need to figure out a better pathing to grab that three down there. Ooh, and I think I got it. I think I got it. We just need to use another one of the ones over on the right side to uh, to come back through. The witness is that game with the jetpack? Yes. <laughs> Freaking jetpack. How does the orbit work? It requires mass. Well. Is hiding something within the mass of a planet. Exactly. That is the Monka S about this. Is like, okay, what the hell is going on? About tally whackers? Oh my god. These ones hurt my brain too much? 
We solved it without solving it. That was for <laughs> So my idea here was to do this. But then if I come back through on that side, we're in trouble. And I, I can't do that because we already have that, that figured out. I'm just trying to get one extra piece here. So we can grab these one more time. That's just, that's just right back to the beginning, where we were. At the beginning with you, we were strangers, starting on an adventure. I can't, but we can't get back around. How do we get a third one here? This is ridiculous. How do we get a third one in the center? This one right here is pretty miserable. Like it really seems to limit our, our capability. Let's take a let's take a bigger look here. So the four we can go up and around. I think what we need to do is we need to do like this, this, something. Like we can do this, this, but then that's done. And now we're in a lot of trouble. And we still haven't solved our problem. Oh. Go to the left of the small wall. Through the bagel. So this is good. Aubrey, it's really good to see you. I hope you're well. I hope you are well today. Now the issue is how do we get this to be four? Because that, that's the issue is we gotta get four over on the left side here. So we, we solved that, so that's good. But now we need to get this, see, because we're only at three right there. So we just have to get one more touch, one more touch on the fours and then you done did it. What if, hold on, what if we just augment what you've shown us here? What if we just augment it a little bit? Is there a way to open up the path? Like this? No, because this doesn't this doesn't let us go back through. Wait, what if we what if we're supposed to no because we can't go around that way? Oh. <laughs> Everyone wish wish Sarah a good day at work. She's off to do lawyer stuff. Says hi. Yeah. There's camera shy. How do we get that fourth tally? That is... Did you both just say it would take a miracle at the same time? 
To make a bacon sandwich? Hell yeah! So, if we want to come around... Okay, so... Down here. Can't do that because it seals off. Can't do that because it seals off. But we could... My thought here is, what if we did something like this? And the answer would be that that is an awful idea. An absolutely awful idea. Okay. I am I'm messing it up. So, Aubrey has shown us the way for us to, to grab... Grab a new path that does kind of get us into... Instead of missing one on the three, we just miss one on the outside four. I feel like we need to use these top ones a little bit more. And so we're doing something like this. That hits the three, right? But we can only hit this top one twice. So my thought here, that seals off. Man, that's so close. How do we get one more team? How do we get one more on the four? How do we, how can we augment the path to just give us one more four? I think I know. Wait, 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 wait. Before I forget, before I forget, I wanna try this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, turns out, I do not. Unless there's something I'm missing, but no. Uh, I do I do not know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, good. Good. Great. Okay, let's go. Let's try some other weird stuff. What if we go like this? We're gonna go back or We gotta touch down. We gotta at least... We can't get three on the same side. I don't think it's possible to get three, like, on the same one. Yeah, I don't see a way for that to, to happen. So, that being the case, we do have to at least touching bottom side once or twice. This is the one. This is the twice. And then what do we loop to up here, though? We have to loop to this one. So the problem with this is this makes it so that we can only get this one once, and then we have to get this one three times. Is there a way for us to do that? That is the current issue. I wonder if we can actually finish this puzzle up here. What if we do it in the reverse order? So what if we actually finish this puzzle first? Well, we can't come back around on that if we do that. So if we do this, if we do this. Wait, 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 what if we leave ourselves what if we leave ourselves like an outside line? That's awful. That's no good. Do not do this. Wait, or maybe do this? Like, look at this. So what if we do this, 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 this? The, it, oh, it, oh, yes. And then look, and it's perfect. We only left everything undone. It's awesome. Morty Joe, what up? How you doing? What if that is not the twice? 
what if that is not the twice? Are you talking about those two center, the two center three? Meaning that the top one is not the uh, the double, it's the bottom one that would be the double? So how can we put pressure on the bottom ones even bottom the, oh, you're talking about the top one being the double. So if top one was the double, because we're currently trying to get the bottom one as the double. Outside on the right first. I kind of think we need that one. And then that doesn't touch the one down there. So I'm doing is I'm leaving the outside, right? I'm just I'm, I'm testing this. So I've given us I've given us a tether here. I haven't given us a second tether though, so that's an issue. No second tether. The line there might give us no. I wouldn't give a second tether. But this, that's good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No! Wait, it wouldn't have mattered. 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 Everybody calm down. This feels like we have it. We just need a way to go back up and through. Because this is a solve. We're just missing our... Wait. We just loop around that once. We did it. We did it. Okay. Sam, do this again. Okay. Think, think, think. Okay. Okay, Bax, you're going to do this again. Down towards the bottom. Here we go. Team, come on. Oh. We're nuts. New puzzle. Number three of five here. What do we got? So our biggest biggest pillar requirement is three on the bottom. And then they're requiring a lot of pathing here. A lot of pathing towards center. We have our neutral hook here. Which makes me feel like what we're gonna wanna do. Ooh, well that's annoying. So we no longer grab this one. So this one needs pressure. So actually, what if we don't do, what if we do this, but what if we do, what if we do this, this? That doesn't apply pressure to it. That's the issue. So the issue here is I need a second thing to go around and that's why that's there. So now we go like this, like this, this. Back around, we grab the two. Oh, okay. I don't want to touch that one though. Okay, okay. But that actually touches that one anyway. So we do this. But then I don't get the three here without going back around or doing something interesting. 
because that would be the way for us to get back around there. Oh, but it, that doesn't touch it. <sighs> Jeez, are you kidding me? <laughs> let's try some. Let's try some bagels. Bagel it up. So we're gonna skip that one for now, so that we can get so we can get pressure twice on that. Come all the way back around. Oh, wait, no way. Hold on. So do we do this? No, because then how would I get pressure on this one? That's not a move that's, that's not a viable, that's not a viable move. This might be. No, because how do we get another, how do we get another spot right here? I don't think we do. Like without wrapping around this one, like twice. So we actually need to come back down on that one. So the issue is that neutral, we want to use that neutral spot down here. Like we want, we want to try to use this. What if we open up like this? Do this. I like that. I like that quite a bit, actually. But that is an assault to the top, so I think we I think we're actually gonna leave that for now. Come back to doing that. So what if, okay, so instead of that, no, cause then, then I seal off. You got it? Nice. Good work. Ooh, how does that not touch right there? It's crazy. So I think that's what we want. So what we're doing here, what I'm trying to do here, so we do this, 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 or that, sorry. Oh, but then it doesn't touch. There we go. Okay. All the way around. Boom, boom. Ah, oh, we're so close. Hold on. Hold on. How do we get two on this one now? Damn it, we're close. No, <laughs> we're so close. We just need one more. We just need one more there. But it's pretty, it's pretty tough to get this one wrapped twice from that angle. That's that's a uh, that's pretty. It's pretty savage, actually. So what if we do this then? Do this, then this. Oh, because then we can't then we can't come back down and around. Yeah, that's just and that's just another way to loop those. Like, if we if we were to, if we were to try to bring this like back up and around, that 
be one way to do it. But we also need to try to get two on this. So how can we get two on this? We have to double wrap it. Like there's no other way to get, there's no other way to get around it. Like it requires us to go around. That angle is awful. Do those two need to be connecting? Like what I'm looking at now is this. Leave bottom right out. So my problem here is these two. So what I'm thinking is we have to do this and then loop around this. Leave bottom right out. Problem is getting two on this, right? Like this whole freaking mess is just me not being able to hit this thing twice. That's how I can apply pressure to finish all that. That's how we do it. Or that is a way for us to do it. Oh no, that gives us the three. So here we go. then that doesn't give us two there does it no so we okay so we shifted we shifted it to something else so we actually actually hold on hold on that's good that's good that's good so instead of taking these ones right here what if we just do this Because then we, but then we can't apply pressure. Because remember, we're, our path is going up, so we actually have to loop around this twice, and we aren't leaving ourselves the ability to do that. Blech. Like how? I think I, I don't think I can solve it the way I just have it right here. I think we're okay. We're okay, but we need pressure on this one. Um going back up and over the top. So this is what we're doing. We're good. We got it. We got it, team. Okay. This, this, this. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Pressure here. Boop. Nope, because I can't get that one twice. Once again, once again. I enter the same issue I can't come. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ugh. We don't need to do that. There we go. There we go. Now we can actually apply pressure to it. I don't know why it's so hard for me to like get my get my head around. Now there's our there's our two. Actually, can we do this? Does that leave me room? Because then we're going to do this, this, this. Yes! Oh, come on! Jesus, we did it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Onward. Onward. All right.
right, let's look at our tallies here. Four top left, two top center, two top right, two bottom, three left. Couple ones out there. That's pretty spicy. Um, only one hiccup here, and that's that little thing right there. So we're gonna keep our eye. We're gonna keep our eye on that one. These threes are pretty close together, aren't they? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So if we do this, can we get another one there? It doesn't look like it. So we could do this, and then does that touch? It does. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I forgot about the four up here. We probably want to save some stuff for the four. Hold on. Rewind. That four, that four is brutal up there. Okay. It's on the other side of our tether. Shoot. Screw it. ourselves a tether here we do for that two right there then we can't touch that again that's our issue so coming back through could do that that this back around here this gives us all that whole left side lit except for the three that we cut off <laughs> so that's why i was leaving the one and the one because then we're going to wrap back around on the two the rest of this is solvable from here, besides this gap, which we can solve by not going up to this one right away. Okay. So, do this. That's it. Well, it's not it, I guess. Hold on. We need to leave a little bit of space right there. I don't think we're going to need that one again. Instead of doing that one, do we do this one like this? And then we're going to do this. Wrap down here like this, this. Can't go there. That's going to touch. So we actually have to wrap around the top. So the first three we're getting, the first three we're getting down here. What do we just leave it? Okay. So this is, this was the issue was that we just kind of like chunked it up how do we get our third touch on the three gotta leave the one ah we go around to the right and back down so that we can touch both of those ones that's what it is that's what it is we go to the right and back down so we go like this I can't fit back through. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is, that is unfortunate. That was it. If I gave myself one more hook to go here and back down, that could be it. But we can't get the third one, right? can't grab the one if I'm going to plan and this is my plan if my exit strategy so it would be like doing this instead but then that's going to touch the one and then as soon as we come back up here we're screwed that's the whole angle that's the whole reason we're doing this angling thing is because we need so there's one there's one extra touch and now what go like this, that. Oh my god, did I do it? Oh my god. We're nuts! Let's go! Go! 
we're becoming pretty pretty good at blueprint solvers. Pretty good blueprint solvers. All right, last of the five. Ooh, a paper crane. Excellent. Good, good. Very good. It is a paper crane. So three between three, five between two separate fives. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to use this. We're going to use these outside two at the beginning as, like, uh, as hooks to come back down and then go back up. This one is going to be annoying. I already know it. So this is my thought here is that we can do like this. Here, here. Here, here. Now the question is, how do we get the five? <laughs> how do we get the other five heads? We need to leave ourselves a place to come back and wrap. So we can actually use, why don't we use both fives? Why don't we use both fives? Instead of trying to get one at a time, let's try to get both at the same time. I need to leave myself a gap. I need to leave myself room though. So I think we need to do it this way. So we actually could save. We can save that one for one touch coming back around the other way. We still need two on that five, and I've blocked that five off. So we can't. It's rough. As soon as we do that, oh, we encounter a problem. Because I can't, I've looped one time too many. So, that being the case, maybe it's just not that loop right there. Let's leave that top one for a sec. So, here's what we're going to do we're gonna come around like this, down here. Gives us the three. Pressure to this one. We need to hit that one one more time as well around to this one like this oh 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 we can't touch the one again so that's where we come up here like this let me do this oh come on okay so that's to be my exit thing we do one one have to solve I have to solve that five with this current setup the way that I've done it that five has to be a set solve here what if we do this then come over like this that that okay that's not bad when I go to the twos instead of back left Can't wrap. It didn't work. I think it worked. Problem is, if we do this, I like this. I like. I like this as a theory. Wait. Oh, it still touches. Are you serious?
What if we just save that three? What if we just save that three? No, because then as soon as I do that, we're, we're, we're done. We can go around this way. Save the three. Come down here. Oh, I can't not touch both of them, though. Shoot, that was it. That was it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to touch this one down here one less time. As crazy as it is to say that, we can do like this. Hmm. We need to keep the tethers open. Back over here. So do we have double tether? We have double tether right side. So double tether right side. So what if we do just accept this like this? Can we still grab that one twice or are we only gonna hit that one once? We're just gonna hit this one once. We aren't gonna go back over there. So we actually do need another touch on this one. In this current set, in the current, the current idea we're operating. So then this would not be the play, it would be this. We leave that tether. Leave that tether, come down, tether here, tether center, like this. Then we're gonna come back over here, do this, over here. But the five doesn't get it. Oh, because we already tethered that side. So then we're saying that we're going to go back and tether all over again. Stop poking me! <laughs> What's up, Cranky? We could go... No. No, no, no. We've already tethered that. I've been instructed to keep quiet? By me? Ooh, what? This still gives us a wrap. Too many touches. This last touch is no bueno. Let's just do this. Nope, because that's that also. Let's do this. So we can go boom, boom, light the three. Can I get around that tw two more times? I cannot. Oh, can't do that. That's silly. Let's do this. There we go. I don't want to lock that off so quickly. Don't have another tether though for that. So this would be like the end. I'm paying attention. I'm working at half paying attention. But I'm with you in spirit. Puzzles. I mean, puzzles are like as much a lurking thing as they are. It's it's whatever. Just you know, you do you. I'm glad. I feel your spirit. This is a solve. The problem is, we're right back to where we were in the way that we've gone through this, where we can't go around this one. So unless there's a different way to get this this guy here, do we leave? Do we leave this hook till the end and just try to do it without the that hook so we can hook and go back around? Like so that we can do this and then go back around. That's what we need to do. That's what it is. We have to leave that hook. We need to do the whole thing without doing that move right there. Okay. So let's just let's just back it up. No left hook. Left hook stays. Nobody touch that left hook, okay? I'm warned. And then I go try to do it immediately. So then let's just do this. Let's go this way instead. We didn't leave ourselves a hook down here? Oh, I see. I don't know how 
one's supposed to do the thing. Can't you get the left one first? The left what first? Sorry, it's, it's hard for me to know. I'm sure you know what you're saying, but it's hard for me to translate from chat into into this. Neo Cow, what's up? How you doing, yo? So what if we try, what, let's just try a different like pattern. Let's just try something a little bit different to see if it opens up like some options for us. Um, so my idea here is then this would take us over to here. Okay. So now we can do this. We need to get this a lot though. And I don't think we're gonna be able to get enough of this one by doing this path. Cause we can come down here, we can hook grab grab but then we still have i mean top right we can grab top right anytime i think we need to use the top right as two tether hooks to grab two more spaces on something you know what i mean so if we come back over like we would want to go like boom boom hook here over hook here over hook here over that kind of thing This music in your voice is a perfect background noise to get through the workday. Hell yeah. Except right. Except when the when when bagels do do finagling, we will we will not be silent. How many times do we feel like we'll need to go around some of these? Okay. I do like the idea we shouldn't be doing this this is a silly thing that we're doing we should be grabbing one through center and then moving up and through i like this quite a bit now the issue of course what save the one for last doesn't touch are you serious Zooming in five minutes, catch you later, later. Have fun zooming. You're such a zoomer. Friggin' okay, zoomer. <laughs> That's what I should have said at the beginning, but I did. We did it. We're nuts. What's the first thing you noticed when you climbed aboard? It was a ship. I'll tell you what it is for me. Okay. The smell. Oh. I always imagine the smell on a ship like this to be, like, clinical, you know? But no. Like freshly cut grass. Something to do with the oxygen recycling, I'm told. Goes a long way to help you forget you're trapped in a metal box. If only for a second. The endless void out the windows brings you right back, though. More! More things! Um, also, team, do you guys look at... Do you guys notice something? Look at these paintings. These paintings on the wall are organized like the puzzles. See that? They have the same four by four grid structure and I am not one to believe a puzzle game like this would uh, would have coincidence. 
I think we're going to want to come back to this at some point and, uh, and double check these and write down both the green and the dark squares. Ooh. Yeah, so that symbol right there, I think that symbol means uh, puzzle, like uh, environmental puzzle. On the right side, right above my finger on the wall, that is like, hey, there's a thing. So I think that's what this is. So these are a thing indeed, and we just have to figure out what on earth the thing is. Okay. So we already went in here. Did not go in here. Oh, what's this? No. Team, are you thinking what I'm thinking? We'll, we'll, we'll put a pin in it. But, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little juicy with this because you're thinking, I'm thinking what you're thinking. This, this watch, I believe may give us a solution towards the, uh, escape pods puzzle. Well, I think I'm closing the stream now. I want to find that myself. That's fair. Totally fair, Smongo. Oh, Vermilion. I miss that old man. He just had this, like, warmth, you know? I could tell him about anything, and he would just summon wisdom like it was nothing. He was from Earth as well, which, you know, it's just nice. I've never been there. He actually left Earth for the first time to come on this mission. Oh. That's what all the photos are of. It's life on Earth. I know Pistachio was particularly interested in a photo album of his house. She used to sit and flip through it in her downtime. He used to live on the coast next to an ocean. Can you believe that? I cannot. Okay. Fish and stuff in here. Ugh. Why is everything lined up like that? Just so you're aware, this is how everyone's bedroom looked before we moved our stuff in. Minus the fish, of course. Canary sure loved her fish. <laughs> Maybe she related to them on a personal level, you know? All cold-blooded and scaly, blank, expressionless eyes, her mouth doing that thing where it opens and closes all the time, but nothing of any value ever comes out. Yikes. <sighs> he was all right. Secrets from beyond the singularity. Holy. Okay. Uh, wait. This looks like a shrine. What? Oh. Uh, I, uh... I don't think I want to talk about this. Not now. Maybe never. Okay. All right, so we have a three, seven. Is that, are we, is seven? Our hero might be Murph. 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 That's a seven. Seven. Holy. How are we going to get seven? Well, let's start chipping away. Do 
just go like right up to it like right away just to get some rap just to start doing stuff to it oh boy but then I can't I can't get over to the other side it seems like what we'd want to do is like a like ping pongish pongish ping pongish thing oh my god this is gonna be five more five more like where we go we hit okay so yeah like we go up boom wait like this we go up boom then we do this and then we do this and then we do this back down here we do this and this okay oh but we need that too we need that two one more time uh, we do this two going down once do the two going down once with a simpler wiring system maybe it is simple but as a like because i'm maybe it was simple maybe it was simple but i'm an imposter i don't know what i'm doing maybe they get it maybe they know you know what i mean not me not me bruh. oh that's what it is we gotta get that one twice okay so coming back down here we do need to do this. We need to get that one to go twice. Then I can't come back down on those. And I can't do this because yeah, I knew it. That's gonna, it's gonna darken that up given what I've already done. So let's just, Let's just take a let's take a let's take a second. I like my opener. Got to admit, I'm a fan of the opener. We may just need to do like this. can't get that three how do we get the other one do we have to do we have to double wrap this like this and then we can apply pressure with the angle so we go down here like this grab three i'm just trying to even solve some of these right now oh we touch it again coming back up Four on these as well. Man. 
How can I get these to touch twice? Feels like I would need to do something like this. But then how am I gonna get another touch there? I actually have to come down here twice. So if I have to go down there twice, let's just look at how we get down there for one time at all. How do we keep that open? How do we keep it open to loop down there once and then do it again? Hmm. So... I think I have the right idea here that we really, like seven's a lot. And I think we do need to be popping up for the seven. The problem is it leaves us a little, a little troubled. Let's try going to the left side instead. So let's actually loop this, like, let's go like this. So we actually get that first touch. Oh, well, that's a rip. Mind? this instead. That doesn't touch twice, not quite. Which presents the issue of how on earth we're going to get that third touch down there. Keep going for science here. <sighs> for science, this is for, for figuring out if, if whatever, you know? Okay, let's just take a look. What do we got? So we miss a three, miss a two. Miss a four right side. Six out of seven center. Okay. So... Sorry if the uh, if the camera's shaking. I'm in bot mode, and so my leg starts my leg starts doing the leg thing. <sighs> okay. That's close. That's close. I need to leave that leave that there, but then I risk I risk not getting the the other touch that we need there. Man, how rough is that? So if we do this, we no longer, like, we can't get the seven. We can't get the seven. And if we do this, we can't get back to the two. So we have to be sure that we're leaving ourselves an out. So every, okay, let's, 
Let's start putting together the pieces of solving these puzzles and how to solve them. So every time you go past a number, you need to have at least one more number left behind that one for the amount of times you go around it. Yeah, I know, that made a lot of sense. So if we were to go up here and we grab this two, now there's one left. That means we need to have at least one available slot past this column to go back to complete it. Okay. That doesn't account, oh, but that doesn't, that doesn't count for the return journey. I don't think there's gonna be a return journey, Sam. can't do that because we're going to go back over and around it anyway so this two is just going to be a part of the threes now what we're doing is we're leaving ourselves the ability to actually like real like go crazy on the hook there So this lets us hook back and around. Now we have an entirely different issue because I can't get back to... We have to, okay, so it's a series. Cajun Mama, <laughs> please, work lurk. It's really good to see you, I hope you're doing well. Work your lurk. Ooh, I don't know, eh, mm, eh, we're gonna pull that one back, okay. So we need, it's a series, it's a series of like, we're going up, coming back. It's like, a, it's a whole series of this shit. Like, oh, just endlessly, endlessly looping until it feels like looping one more time would just make your brain explode. problem is that the loops also have to be so we need efficient looping so let's just solve each individual area and see and see what we can do now if we do this like that's you can't solve so this is me okay so there's gonna be a little bit of process to this this one may take us a minute this one may take us a minute what we're trying to do is figure out because I assume this is one of five puzzles. I don't even think, I mean, the stream has to end at 11. So we have 45 minutes. I don't think we're gonna get through all five. But maybe, maybe there's hope. If we can figure out a way to, to have all of this make a little bit of sense. As far as like figuring out the actual. So nothing does anything without, without a loop like this. Nothing does anything without a loop. Everything is a loop. That doesn't give us our three. So the problem is that we need, we need this to come down and around and we need it to be touching that second. We can't just loop. If you have a three, the three is gonna require a double touch, right? Like you can't have a three and expect it, it, a three split across two columns and just loop twice. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do it.
To do that, you have to double. You have to double. So what you have to do is for the three, we need to leave a hook available. So what I mean by that is we have to do something like this. Boom. See, now we've hit that twice. Now we come back around here like this, back over here, back through here, completes that, grab one more touch, one more touch here, we come down, we loop this, what? Why? Okay. Oh my God. Okay, okay, deep breaths, everybody. Discount double touch. Ooh, we solved the bottom. And I think I see how to solve the top. Those are individual twos. Yikes. That's pretty rough. These individual twos are pretty rough. I feel like I may have to, I feel like I can't actually split this into two like this. Because how do I get back around on these? Oh, we have to hook. This one will be one we have to exit on. So we may have to treat the fours as separate. So we need four loops on them. And this could involve going all the way around. Like this. So the idea here would be, so this is, this is a solve. So at least we've opened the door. We've opened the door. That's, that is, that's something. Pathing wise, we need to be able to path this so that we are going over to the left. Now, I think the goal of this was to path it this way. We may have to resolve the bottom to incorporate this. We may actually need to solve this top part first. No, that's impossible because we have the two, the, the twos up towards the left. There's no way for us to actually get those, get those top twos right here and not make a beeline for the exit. We have to save this one for like a hook coming back down center. There's no way for me to not touch the one there. And if I go up and around here, we can't get this two back. So what if we do this?
Um, that's a nine. That's... That's a nine. ever hit a one so we need to and we need to alternate I thought it would go dark if you walk through the door <laughs> we made it all right oh it's symmetrical so this actually doesn't change anything same puzzle we were trying to already solve them Close. I think we need to double a nine. I think we need to double the nine once. So we need to go like this and this. So that we double it. I think can we go down around here and still get through the one? Ah, uh, that's, I don't like that. I don't like what we just did there. This isn't giving us much of an option for places to go. Yeah, it's no good. It's no good. can't get back through there so I don't like it the pathing's no good so our path has to give us an opportunity to I almost so that we've already discovered that this doesn't give us enough that does give us enough almost gives us a second touch on that outside one there but it doesn't so I don't like we can't loop up so quickly so we're gonna go like this here 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 that's a huge loop huge fat loop man love it we actually don't even need to get that one just yet we can actually go like this no we can't because then we can't get back through down here right yeah that's not worth it that's not worth it One off. We're one off. So we need we need a we need a second hook. So we actually the nine is not as easy as we thought. We actually need okay. So we need to go back across these two down here, like every opportunity we can. So this is the play. There we go. Now, now we're cooking. Oh my God, we're puzzlers. We increase your brain. Okay, let's go. Three. Um, okay, so if we four, two center, the one out, you can see down bottom right, we have a, we have that neutral wall coming off towards the bottom. We're coming back towards center. I like our starting tether position. It's wide open compared to where the door is, so that's nice. Um, we also have a neutral, it looks like right here, right there, we have a neutral spot. This one here is going to be a hook for something. So we have two hooks, actually. So we have a hook here. And we have a hook up top as well. So we need three times around this guy in the center. You done did it. You done did it. So a, a single three is pretty nuts. 
A single three is pretty nuts. So we're gonna need to go around this thing like crazy. So that's what we did. There's a hook there. Ooh, that doesn't actually get us pressure. Yikes. So we wanna go like this and then wrap back over to that side? I guess so. But that's how we get the hook here. That's how we get the pressure there anyway. So that does not equate to pressure. Interesting. So let's just ignore that for a second. give us one, an opportunity to get one more? No, it does not. So if we want to rewrap this, want to re-gift it, that doesn't, that means we can't get that two there. This two is a hook. It's a hook and it's a double hook. So it's more likely that we want to do this something very center or similar sorry center very center what is very being very you are very center already broke the first two this speaking of speaking of two that one is annoying i can't i can't do that it doesn't give me the opportunity to grab it a second time to get that a second time we need to be able to go loop something and then grab back over it so we need to be able to go like this this and then back around it so i think we actually start up top like this like this mm, like this here we go Ooh, okay but then we need to go like this and then this 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 there we go so something to this effect. Not like this exactly, but something like that. We have to be able to loop around that two twice. So let's just feel it out for a second. Cranky delay. <laughs> that delay is nuts. So this is testing. This is just testing. Ooh, these two are quite close together. Another, another instance of the hook. Trying to see where we line up to get the... So if we have two that are split... If we have two that are split... For example, the bottom left there, we have two split and a two... A two... Solo. The solos have to be wrapped. So it's kind of... The game is pushing us in a direction where we can say... For solving these puzzles... You know, please try to wrap. So this is already no bueno. You know what I mean? Are the arrows supposed to signify rotational direction or which side you have to wrap around on or just showing you which pole the number is for? So that's actually a good question um, because I can't definitively say no to the beginning because I haven't been paying attention to it. I highly doubt that's the case. They are just to show the number. They're just associating the number. It's supposed, I assume it is a uh, thematic supposed to be thematic for like a uh, uh, blueprint like how you would draw a blueprint so that's wrap one but we have nowhere to wrap from this after that we have nowhere to wrap after that that's the, and that's kind of an issue isn't it so this two hook here So we could go over to a side like this. Boom, we're, we're wrecked. We can't get back to this too if we do that. So I think, I think the play, maybe ignore that too for now. 
that's our exit strategy. So this is our exit. What I'm doing is I'm working backwards. So we need to come back down this path for the exit. And what I mean by that is we'll do this and it'll light those two up, finish them, and then we can go, we can go through from there. Um, That's not a solve for this too, so we can't do that. This three needs a whole bunch of help. We've actually messed up our exit, hold on. So we need to keep the exit open. So right now our exit looks like this. exit open how do we get that two up there we need to leave ourselves a hook so we need to do like this but then that three that three needs another shot as well Shoot. and if we do that we don't leave ourselves the hook Unless we just hook, unless we hook the four. Why don't we hook the four instead? Because we still can't get the three, because we can't go back to it no matter what we do. We need to leave ourselves a hook on each side. And if I go over to the two though, then I can't go back. We can't fit through there, so we can't do the other thing. If a number points to two poles, it's cumulative? Yes. Correct. Oh, I see. We're on the same page now. This maintains our exit strategy by doing this. If we were to have this two, we leave our close top. I feel like this is also, this is an exit. Now out of curiosity, does this still give us a two touch here? It gives us a one touch. Okay, that's good to know because that means we have a hook down here. We can actually go like this. So that being the case, let's go ahead and grab the three, go here, loop back out, grab the two, but the two doesn't have a hook. God, I hate, I hate that two right there, man. That two is awful. I feel like we could just touch it once at the beginning, but then we can't, we can't touch it again. That's the problem. That's the problem, we can't, the two would lock off the path. We need to be able to go around that two, around something, and then back around it. So we need to grab something that needs something, grab it, something that needs something, grab it, and then have a hook. So we have to leave two hooks on each side of it. So we need to go like up like this, hook there because of the one up top. The one up top seals off the top, so we can't do that. No hook. Didn't leave myself the hook. So this is, this is leaving us the hook, but it also leaves us uh, shit out of luck. one more four open the three needs more attention in center i can't i can't abandon the three in the center so we need to we need to be given that a little more love we need to give the three more love so you can grab the first two posts you have whoa did you guys see that we bugged it. <laughs> Oops. So if we leave ourselves a hook by doing this, by doing this, and that, we can actually 
to go all the way around. You can go here, 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 here. Oh, that doesn't quite apply pressure. That does. Back to here. That's it. Nope. Can't get pressure down here. Let's grab this. When you say first two, you mean the first two that we have like locked in here? That might be a hook that's actually taking us backwards. I think we gotta get these two just out of the way right away because they're so annoying. And then I'll just figure out the puzzle from there. That's not gonna work. What am I trying to do? What am I trying to do? I like the exit strategy over here. I like I like this bagel. But I can't, I, I leave myself absolutely nothing by doing that. We could do it, we could do it multiple ways too. Like we could try to do this. Oh, and that leaves us hook center, but then we can't leave. Then we can't leave by doing that. I like this, this, this is cool, it's interesting. One too many times here, but we could rap like a crazy person. Bottom left versus leave room to hook. I mean, the, the issue is, if, if you're talking about what I just did, that would be the issue, right? Is that then I don't have, I can't do anything else. Like, Too, because that's our exit. What if we just make those both like... What if we do this? No, because I already... <laughs> oh. Screw it, man. Let's take a let's take a breather from the uh, from that idea we're working on. Let's move on to uh, maybe doing some like other loops. know that like if we're going to be using that oh that's an interesting idea That gets the two and the three. It misuses that, it misuses the neutral. Misuses the neutral horribly.
Well, that's an easy pickup stretch there to grab grab the, all the fours. But uh, say it with me. <laughs> the issue is can't frickin' frickin' do the frick. takes us back around this is this is the play this is the play we're getting it we're getting it slowly but surely going back around the outside is gonna hit that maybe 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 not once I do that though we aren't coming back so this is one. How do I get a third touch on that? And then back towards center? No. This, this, this. But then that's not going to get the touch. Nope. It's awful. It's a good thought, though. My thought here now is let's just take all this stuff right here, all this little group down there at the bottom, and just leave that for last. And I think we can. I think we can do that. So like, let's just go over here, just to make sure, but two, so we can go, let's see, like these two are just going to be, you know, peas in a pod, there, that's, that's solved. So, so the bottom left can just be, can be done on an exit, um, and then I think we just need to use all the outsides as hooks coming down towards the four. Our big problem is getting this single three in the center. That's a brutal piece. That is a brutal piece. If we do that, we're locked outside. We can never come back down to these. That's a problem. So can we use, so instead of using only the outside as hooks, can we use the inside as hooks as well? So that's a way for us to get pressure on that. So can we leave, can we leave that one open to hook once? This, 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 this. But then, then the four isn't there, but we did get those. That's cool. How do we get these four now? So these four would be like this, and then we need to go back across them to go over here. So we actually have to leave that one up. So let's let's look at the fours. Let's look at the fours as something to do this with. Boop boop and boop and boop. Boop, solved, right? Yeah. Same thing with this is like the f anything that's a four, just go like this and you wrap it twice. So that gets the four. So the four, the four can be done, like both fours can be done every single time just by utilizing like go across them and come back across them good job you did it and then in the center is the stupid single three piece that is the most pretty intense it's an intense piece crawfish welcome back
That's not how it, man, it's like. How do we get the three and the two? Like it's, it's so rough because I need to get the three and the two. And I wish it was easy enough to get the three and the two. But it's not, it never is. Center, center neutral has to be utilized better than we are utilizing it, which is basically not at all at this point, right? And then we have the two ones up top that we're using as hooks, which I think is correct. Um, the only other option, of course, would be that those are an exit. So this is saying, hey, you need to get all this middle shit out of the way, and then you need to loop outside like this. I do to solve all this other stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Assuming this is the case. You know. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. So we're... Tr We, so what we need to do is choose a hook. So what I'm doing right here is I'm saying, okay, well, could I make, could we go like this and make this the hook to grab the two? And the answer is yes, we could, but then uh, it gets ruined. So no, we can't. So what is the hook for the two and what's the hook for the three? Let's just try to get the three then. Well, we can loop, 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 and loop. So then that's good. Um, but then we're still stuck with this two and this three that are sitting here just causing a pretty big friggin' problem. Um, we can grab two here. It's not going to be it. So we need a three hook. That, man, rough. Rough out here. That doesn't even get there. do some unorthodox stuff let's do unorthodox stuff how about that we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to like just do things just to see just to see where it takes us so this is Looping around here is actually kind of close to a solve, but it doesn't. So taking the outside out of the picture, I don't, that's, that seems ill-advised. That seems ill-advised. Hmm. I kind of like this play. like this play. What do we use that center neutral? God. Oh, we already got the four. Wow. That would be one. 
I like that play because it leaves it leaves it leaves like the thing open that's the that's the thing here is it leaves it open because then we can come down here with two hooks like two separate hooks like this wait if we could actually get the three right now it's it'd be it'd be rock and rolling swords in 64 what's up how you doing but we can't that's the problem because we we we've overhooked ourselves yeah it is a great game it's a fantastic game this is just me messing around right now let's test to see can we get back around this nope that's good to know so this is that's a one off this all got beaten breakfast Breakfast, super delicious. Some puzzle puzzles and breakfast. Not a bad way to uh, start the day. That's how we're starting the day here as well. Well, I thought I thought we could do it. I thought we could get through all five puzzles before eleven a.m. It's not gonna happen though. We got through the first. The first one was tough. The second one we we did pretty well on. And this one is absolutely destroying us this is tough So, oh, I kind of want to get this and kind of not. <laughs> How decisive. Uh, team, this is pretty close, actually. This is pretty close. What if we leave the two by the door for the exit? Scout, what's up? 
What's up, yo? How you doing? What if, what if we leave the two that we're struggling with? It is causing an insane amount of problems, Brian. So what I'm thinking is let's just, let's, let's leave it till the end and let's connect the two. So we have a really good setup here on the center using this hook, using the, the neutral pillar. So what if we just like pull it back? What if we leave it? What if instead we do like... I don't know, I don't know what leaving it looks like, you know? Because how do we get back over to it now? We can't even go through this one. We've over we've overstayed our welcome on this one using it. If we use the two as a hook and then wrap around it, that's what's causing us the issue. The music is a, uh, can we give the music an MVP award? Ambient, melodic, not overwhelming, just, just enough. It's just, it's good where it's at. Uh, an exciting amount of mathematical theory that can be done in this kind of problem, yes. And it does suck that we, uh, our robot needs to lose some weight. So, I like what we were doing. I like what we were doing, which is not what I'm doing now. Right now, I'm just like having a good time. Whee! So what, what we were doing is we were saying, okay, let's grab the fours and hook them. Hook the fours and go from there. I think you should get it, Grim. <laughs> Support. <laughs> so, if we come down and through, if we if we wanted to try, okay. So that early two. some of that open if we're looking at this and trying to like leave because like so the the idea here okay Okay, team. I actually, it's 11 o'clock, so I gotta get ready for work. Fortunately, I can't push that. I can't. I can't push the uh, the game ready for work all that far. So I'm gonna leave this right here just for a bit. If people want to screenshot it, and then we'll tackle it again tomorrow. Yeah, it's rough. 